In this lesson, we will be reviewing the principles of early defibrillation and keys to using an AED. The earlier defibrillation occurs, the higher the survival rate. CPR can provide a small amount of blood flow to the heart and brain, but cannot directly restore an organized rhythm. First, we'll discuss the key points of an AED. When delivering a shock, make sure oxygen is not flowing across the patient's chest. Do not stop chest compressions for more than 10 seconds to analyze the rhythm. Have everyone stay clear when delivering a shock. Assess the pulse after the first two minutes of CPR. If the end tidal CO2 is less than 10 millimeters of mercury during CPR, consider adding a vasopressor and improve chest compressions. When delivering a shock, determine energy dose according to the type of defibrillator. With a monophasic defibrillator, deliver a single 360 joule shock. If subsequent shocks are needed, continue with the same energy dose. A biphasic defibrillator has a variety of waveforms. Determine the appropriate shock dosage according to the manufacturer's recommendation. To use an AED, attach the pads. The pads will read the heart rhythm and the AED will indicate whether a shock is needed. This resets the heart's abnormal electrical activity into a normal rhythm. When there is no response after shaking and shouting, no or ineffective breathing, or no carotid artery pulse detected, you should use an AED. Here is the basic AED operation. Power up the AED. Choose the appropriate pads. Attach the pads to bare chest and make sure cables are connected. Place one pad on upper right side and the other on the chest a few inches below the left arm. Clear the area to allow AED to read rhythm. If a rhythm isn't present after 15 seconds, reset CPR. If the AED indicates a shock is needed, ensure the patient is clear. Now press the shock button. Immediately resume CPR. After two minutes of CPR, analyze the rhythm with the AED. Continue to follow AED prompts. Those are the keys to using an AED.